All right, let's see who this person is. Any guesses? Could be someone we know. I'm trying to think. I actually don't fully remember, which is why I'm trying to... I'm a little worried it might be Elidibus. Just saying that to, like, lure us out. And preach to us again. I don't remember if I'm remembering that, or I'm just guessing. Or if that's right. I guess we're about to find out. Wait, this guy? It's the same lying guy from last time. Now look here, you. You'll have your bloody story right after you carry these sacks of grain over to the meal. But, but, sir, that's what you said before you had me pick those oranges for you. Before I mucked out the chocobo stables, and before I rolled that millstone over to the mill, and also before... This is much less exciting than Elidibus. It's this guy! <laughs> Gods, man. I've worked three days straight without a week of sleep. Three days, and you hear me complaining. Bruh, I suppose some of us just ain't made for the rougher stuff. Alright, alright. I'll give you what you want. Never let it be said that old Tractorum ain't a generous soul. Now prick up your ears, because I won't be repeating myself. Too modest, see? Besides, there's only so much epicness a man can take in one sin. A keen... Hem. The tale of Tractorm's epic victory over the dread primal Levibetus. Uh, now, Levibetus is huge, make no mistake. To give you an idea how big each of his scales is about as wide across as me members long. That's no mean feat, let me tell you. When I fought him, I could barely see for all the brine he was pelting me with. Must have been a lagoon's worth at least. He even knocked me trusty axe out of me hands at one stage. Of course, that proved to be a grave mistake. Ha ha ha. What happened next? Why, I grabbed him by the tail and tied him up in knots. But not wanting to take all the glory for myself, I let me mates in the company of heroes handle the rest. Like I said, I'm modest as well as heroic. Mayhap too modest. Now there's some I say he can never truly beat. Levia beat us. But they've got to learn to live with him and make the best of a bad situation. Not the company, though. Um. Hi. Well, uh, it, it's, it's you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I was just enjoying the attention, is all. I take back everything I said. I was never part of the company of heroes. I'm no marauder. I'm actually a complete coward. I'm nothing. I'm Chocobo Dung. I'm, no, I'm the maggot you find wriggling in Chocobo Dung. I have to lie to women to tumble them. That don't happen much. Me member's tiny. It's pathetic. What is happening right now? I sure as hell didn't fight Levia Beatus, but, but I have seen him with me own eyes. It was a fair few years back when I was working as a baker's hand. I was shirking me duties one day, loitering about the harbor when I saw it. A great, big, massive sea serpent, some moms off the coast, with a fleet of galleons making straight for it. Cannons firing. I was so bloody scared I soiled myself right there and then. What? Oh, gods. Just remembering that day made me soil myself all over again? Hey, hey wait. If you're here asking about Levia Beatus, means you're planning to fight him, ain't you? Well, take care. He really is terrible. Dreadful, I tell you. If you're not careful, you'll end up in his gullet or at the bottom of the sea. Yeah, the outfit definitely gives everything away. <laughs> Why, you worthless lying horson! I can't believe you made me handle chocobo dung. Yoki, this is Minfilia. Were you able to learn art of use against Leviathan? I beg your pardon? Levia Beatus. I see. That is unfortunate. At any rate, I have tidings for you. The twin vessel is now complete. We await you at the Morby Dry Docks. Pray, make your way here as soon as you are able. 
that was not what I was expecting. <laughs> okay. So we still have no idea how to deal with that. Sure, 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 sure. Alright, Marshall. I'm told your jaunt to the Grey Fleet proved fruitless. My sympathies, lad. I'll wager it served to take your mind off events of recent days, though. But enough of that nonsense. The moment of truth is upon us. The twin vessel, the war leader, I call her, is complete. She surpasses all my expectations. In addition to her prodigious tonsage, she has been fitted with the platform that you and yours might maneuver freely in battle. I would mention also that she is nigh unsinkable, but I'm not one to tempt fate. The world leader and her crew stand ready, my friend. Just give the word, and we shall bear you to Leviathan. Alright, are you ready? It's time for another primal fight! Ah, I know that look. You are ready. Having been constructed in some haste, the world leader may not be pretty, but I assure you, she's capable. She has been fitted with what our friends at Naldik and Vimelis are calling an elemental converter. Assuming the thing works, we'll use the power of the corrupted crystals on board to rob Leviathan of his hold over water. Depending on how the battle unfolds, you may well need to activate the device manually. Keep that in mind. Got it. Activate it manually. It is expected that the Sahagan and their thralls will attempt to come to Leviathan's defense. Accordingly, the Maelstrom will once again employ diversions. Thancred and Yastola, I would have you assist in this effort. If it is to fulfill its purpose, your diversionary force must not want for numbers. By your leave, I too would volunteer my blade. We would welcome it. Having seen you fight in Sapsa, I dare say the fishbacks will find your presence highly diverting. Then Kredin Yastola, if you'll join the third levy, and Lady Ugiri, the fifth. Got it. But what words have I for the man who has made a sport of slaying gods? Only these. Go warily, for the sea is an unforgiving place to wage war. May the navigator guide you through the storm, warrior of light. I would echo the Admiral's sentiments and add a few words of my own. Know that we have all the utmost faith in you, Leoki. May the crystal bless you and keep you. Uh-huh. Hey, Mega Advent. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're having a good day. Mega Advent 2009. Really appreciate it. All right. It is time... Hopefully the queue is not too long. Oh, dude, it's Red Mage. Why not? It's a little more than a look. You signal your readiness to do battle with Leviathan. At your command, the twin vessel war leader will be towed out into the open sea, where the Lord of the World awaits you. The fate of Limsa Lominsa rests upon your shoulders. Do not falter. Eater hard. The Sahagan, a reviled beast tribe native to the Indigo Deep, have succeeded in summoning forth their voracious god, the Primal Leviathan. Should the mighty serpent be allowed to unleash a tidal wave, the entire city of the filaments will be swept into the sea. Faced with watery oblivion, the leaders of the Maelstrom have conceived a desperate plan by lashing together two warships and filling their holds with corrupted crystals. They hope to pierce the Lord of the World's defenses and give chosen few the chance to dispatch the Primal with courage and steel. The World Leader sits in the bay with her towing vessel, the Triumph, awaiting at the command to cast her. Right, it's time to fight! Ooh, it's been quite the journey. 
forgot how good they made a lot of these cutscenes in 2.2. Like, most of that was voice acted in, like, a rendered cutscene. Still hanging in there, ghost. Okay, <laughs> making sure. No, it's a little bit late. Wasn't sure if you fell asleep or anything. Can do a quick cat check. Barely see them. I really need to get another light or something for there. Pele is super cozy. You can see her a little bit clearer. I am back in the sun though. And. Also. There we go. And there's Luna. I'm surprised they're not begging for food yet. Breaking into all that food earlier today, and apparently, yeah, that's getting close to meal time. It's completely passed out. Do you have any big weekend plans? I don't think I'm doing too much. Meeting someone at a coffee shop on Saturday. I think that'll be nice. Like a pastry a latte. Always a good way to start the weekend. Sounds nice. I think I'm on tech this week for doing stream, so get to go get coffee Saturday and Sunday. Average wait time about a minute. Okay. Might have to end stream after we wrap up this quest. Or yeah, if we end up having to do this next time, that's also okay. I know I started late. But I don't mind staying up a little late tonight. Tomorrow is Friday after all. Should unlock the gold saucer and start collecting the triple triad cards. Something I need to do. Also, want to unlock the um, esthetician. Is that what it's called? So you can change hairstyle. Been thinking of making Luki's hair a little bit lighter. Like the main hair. Not necessarily the highlights. Maybe a little more brown. I 
keep saying I want to make changes to him, and then I don't change him at all. I'm very indecisive. I not have clothes. Oh no, I don't have any armor. <laughs> okay. That might be a problem. I don't know what happened to all my clothes. I had them at some point. I was playing that drum. Like last week, it was off stream, so I had unlocked it. I was like, it might be good to have a healer. Then these two times it might be quicker. I feel like they're usually quickest for healer. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I didn't start the fight. <laughs> Got Let's see if we can get some clothes. The poor Arcanist. Seems like a good thing to do. There we go. We have some clothes. <laughs> yeah, that would be awful if you just pulled out like a different weapon and all your clothes chains and you're just suddenly naked in the middle of the city. It's a rough little trick. <laughs> yeah, thankfully the cops did not notice. Definitely not the most fancy outfit. But at least it covers us up. <laughs> but yeah, the cops are not very good at dealing with public indecency in Eorzea. I guess when they're Primals running around destroying everything, maybe that's not the highest priority. Still. Never get over it, behold, like. There's a primal attacking, everyone's in danger. Go save us. And then you just run around naked for 15 minutes until you get enough people. <laughs> just 
disconnect between the story and the gameplay in MMOs sometimes. A little difficult. Come here, my carpuncle. Oh, he's so cute. Fun fact, this is the first ever job I played in Final Fantasy. It's not, not even with Celestia. It was a different character in a different account even, I think. I think I lost the login information for my first account. But I had forgotten the story anyway, so I just started over fresh. I think Celestia was actually my third character. My first one was a human female. And my second one was a Makose female. And I finally made Sora. Which is definitely the right choice. I'm really glad I did. Right? <laughs> yeah, just like icing the kicker, they call it in football. Yeah, some type of weird pre-game ritual. Alright. Let me go kill a hundred kobolds that are attacking a village, then I'll be ready to fight a primal. Out this week that I'm kind of wanting to play. I feel like there's a story all the time. So many games that I want to play. Not have time for. So it's called um, Escape Academy. It's basically like an RPG light but escape rooms where you go to like basically this academy that. I don't, I don't know what the full story is, but it's this academy where all the students just do escape rooms and you're like trying to be the top student or something like that. It's basically just an excuse to have a game with a bunch of escape room type things, which I think sounds really cool. Okay, there we go. Let's go fight Leviathan! It's time! Leviathan on the open waters. Right? 
just been hanging out like staring <laughs> just like is that a tiny ship out there what are they doing whatever i'll just wait here Did it! Leviathan's defeated! Nice job, team! Port to Merwood in the command room in Limsa Lominsa. 
Lord of the world. That fight's actually really hard on the hardest mode. Because, yeah, if you just mess up one time, you basically just fall off the ship and instantly die. <laughs> it is tough. Knowing the urgency of your business, I thought it best to refrain from making conversation during your past few visits. But today, I will permit myself a few words. Ahem. I feel truly privileged to have had the honor of admitting a hero such as you. You are an inspiration to us all, sir. And on that note, the Admiral awaits you in the command room. Wink. Aww. What a good guy. That such beings can be defeated runs contrary to all I know. Once comes your strength and sense of purpose. My congratulations, Leoki. This victory will serve to quiet the Sahagin, for a time, at least. Another notch on the old belt, is it? Well done, my friend. Were I a god, I dare say I would tremble at your summoning. So often do you achieve the impossible that I fear my words of congratulations will begin to sound repetitive. If indeed they have not already. With this in mind, I shall only say that I am glad of your safe return. We did it, Merrowib! We Lominsons are sworn to strive, till sea swallows all. And swallow all it would have, had Leviathan prevailed. That we still strive now, we owe in no small part to you. Aww. Thanks. Not for the first time, you have delivered Limsa Lominsa from the wrath of a primal. Never has our nation known a stouter ally. On behalf of my people, I give you my humblest thanks. Tis meet that I give thanks to old Mistbeard, too, for his fine solution. Whatever else he may have been, tis clear he was a resourceful soul. Would that I oh, had a man like Mistbeard. him in my service. Oh. <laughs> That was kind of cute. Before I set foot in these lands, I had no inkling that the people of Eorzea contended with such mighty foes. Suffice it to say, their existence came as something of a shock, as did the idea that they could be defeated. This experience has served to remind me of the vastness of the world and the boundless potential of man. Oh, thanks, you dear. Though I am but a refugee in this realm, I would fain be of use to you in your fight. Know that I am tutored in one of the foremost combat arts of the Far East. It may seem outlandish to the Eorzean eye, but should any of your people care to learn, I would be pleased to initiate them. And I will see to it that they are grateful. I have no doubt that your knowledge and skills will serve us well. We can be ninjas Besides, now. your art is not so outlandish as you think. Would you not agree, Master Thancred? Thancred with his own secrets. So... <laughs> not escapes your searching eye, Admiral. Few are privy to this information, but Limsa Lominsa is home to a certain secret fraternity. Its members are trained in a form of combat not unlike your own. By my judgment, it should not be beyond such individuals to adapt to the techniques I witnessed you employing with such admirable deftness. I am heartened to hear this. I too noted a kinship between your style and mine own, though it seemed to me that you fought differently in the beginning. I, I suppose I did. What can I say? I'm a man of many talents. 
Though you may labor to some time to shine. Thancred was once something of a scoundrel who fraternized with the criminal class in these parts. And you stole a you stole that. <laughs> you jest, of course. But for a chance oh. encounter with Alfino's grandsire, he might never have left Limsa Lominsa, or received an education in Charlian, or taken up his post in Uldar, which is where he trained in the Blade, lest you wonder. <laughs> Poor Thancred. All turned so fast. Minfilia, please! <laughs> it would seem there is more to you than meets the eye, Master Thancred. Lady Yugiri, I am told that you and yours came to Eorzea seeking permanent resettlement, and that many domains <laughs> have since been engaged as frontier hands at Revenant's at toll. They all trust each other. Mordona is many things, but a place of refuge it is not. It's good to see the bonds. Know being that built. I would like nothing better than to furnish your people with a new home here on Lominson soil. Alas. Racked by instability as we are, our nation is in no fit state to take you in. Yet I'll not have it said that we turned a blind eye to your suffering. Until such time as we can do more, I pledge to send provisions. We are in your debt, Admiral. I realize that it scarce qualifies as repayment, but if it please you, I shall set about sharing my martial knowledge with your people at once. I'm glad they're finding allies, even if they don't have a home yet. You wished a word in private. This about. The better not to spoil the festive mood. History repeats itself, Admiral. As the kobolds did before them, the Sahagin resorted to summoning their god over a territorial feud. They acted in self-preservation. It may be that the Sahagin initiated this particular clash, but how it begins does not interest me so much as how it ends. I have not forgotten our conversation, Yashtola. I am aware that man bears part of the blame for the Primal's existence. Nor am I ignorant of the Sahagin's reason for acting. They sought to secure a place to breed and multiply that their kind might survive. Self-preservation, as you say. But we have as much right to live and thrive as they. If our own survival is threatened, are we to lay down our arms and welcome oblivion? Nay. And so you kill, that you might live. Yet if living is a right, then that right belongs to all peoples, be they men or beastmen. I'll not deny your reasoning, but when a storm gathers, it falls to me to see my people safely through it. That is my duty, and I shall do it. A little bit of conflict. Definitely agree with your Stola, though. As must we all, Admiral. Stay the course, then. But know that it will lead to no good end. What's she proposing? Oh, Yastola. My girl. Man has ever put himself first and foremost. To justify his actions, he clads himself in the armor of righteousness, though it be a fancy of his own making. In this, mayhap the Garleans and we Domans are not so different. There's a lot of stuff to digest right there. Eorzea has become as a raging sea. If we are to keep our heads above the waves, we cannot scruple to drown the man next to us. 
When hopes of coexistence founder, strength must determine who has the greater right to live. Does it have to be that way, though? Are we just destined to fight each other into oblivion? Oof. Definitely changed the mood a bit there at the end. But we defeated Leviathan. See some of the political workings going on behind the scenes. The Minsons took the Sahagan territory. They fought back. Stola's not happy about it. Yeah, you. Giri knows all this now. was a lot to deal with. Let's see. We should be pretty close to two being done with 2.2, .2, I do believe. Let me check. Yeah. I'm really liking these acted cutscenes. Oh, there's two quests left. Maybe we'll try to finish them up, unless you're feeling really tired. I think they should be quick. Not 100% sure. Or we could call it here. Either way, it's totally fine. We're not in a rush. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, we're almost there. 2.2. No worries. It is late. I really should go to bed anyway. Uh, don't want to be hurting too much tomorrow. But yeah. We're getting so close to Heaven's Word. I'm getting so excited. The cutscenes are getting good. The story is getting a little more intricate. Getting actual character development and conflict. I'm really excited. I feel like this is... We're starting to get to the point where the game really hooked me. I kind of fell in love with it. So I hope it's been enjoyable. We've been having fun with it. <laughs>